And it's never too early to get ready. Meteorologist Colin Campbell is here, and I know you can vouch for that looking at the tropics. Yes, the tropics are starting to wake up, and it makes sense because from August 1st onward through the end of the season, that's when we see 90% of our activity. So tropical update here. If anybody's missed the last 24 hours, you're probably saying, wow, what happens? Well, if you've been tuning in throughout the week, we did kind of hint to this where we said that the tropics would be waking up. There were a few areas that we had uh, of interest. This first area tagged first earlier today. This has a 30% chance of development. Now this is from a low pressure system. It's going to drift off towards the northeast away from the states. So we don't really have to worry about that. It's just off the coast of the Carolinas. Uh, it could cause some rough surf out that way though for the next couple of hours, 24, 48 hours. Also this system recently in the 8 p.m. update, they just tagged this the National Hurricane Center tagged this area for a tropical wave coming off the coast of Africa. So so that is one system that we will have some interest in just because of the location. It's in the central Atlantic very early here. This is basically the baby stages, but this is something that we will keep our eye on just because it will be moving off to the west there once it does develop hasn't even developed yet. All right, so hurricane season. It's August 2nd. We're right here. The peak of the season, September 10th. And this is going off of basically 30 years of data from 1991 to 2020. When we see the bulk of the activity, September 10th seems to be the peak day. But remember what I said, August 1st is really an onward is when we have the bulk of the activity. And it doesn't mean that we will have landfall here in uh, Florida or it increases our odds for landfall. It just means that that's when the Atlantic Bay Basin is typically busier. So just going off of climate data there. All right, so some more facts here. So the progress of the average Atlantic hurricane season, we're actually a little bit ahead here because we've had three named storms so far, none of them hurricanes, but uh, usually by this point, by August 3rd, actually we have three named storms. So we're only ahead by about a day. The first named storm usually comes around June 20th. And again, this is just off of 30 years of data. Uh, the first named storm that we had this year, Andrea, was June 24th. So we were a little bit behind to start the season. Uh, the first hurricane we usually have around August 11th. Again, no hurricane yet. And the first major hurricane, Cat 3 or Stronger, we usually see around September 1st. But again, we're not the only ones included in this, right? The Atlantic Basin is pretty big, so it only takes one storm. That's an important message that we always try to drive home, whether it's a busy season or not a busy season and going off data from the past 30 years. What comes to be important is it could still be a quiet season and it could still be an impactful season. So please always be prepared.